Do you have one of these? Well, you can turn it into a guitar effects processor. Don't believe me? Well, watch the rest of this video. Hello home music creators. Yes, you can turn your computer into a guitar effects processor. Now the question is, why would you want to do this? Well, if you already have a computer and an audio interface, you can get a shed load of effects completely for free. If you need an audio interface, then check out the links in the description below. Now you can get loads of effects for free because some amp sims, guitar amplifier simulator software, have loads of effects models built into them. Uh, two that I can think of off the top of my head that I've used myself are Amplitube and Guitar Rig. Both of those have a free version. I'll put links in the description below. If you know of any others, then let me know in the comments down there. If you were to total up the amount of money you'd need to buy the physical equivalents of all the effects that are provided by Amplitube or Guitar Rig, say, you would be talking thousands and thousands of dollars, probably tens of thousands of dollars. So what will you need to turn your computer into an effects processor? You will need an audio interface, you will plug your guitar into one of the audio interface's inputs and you will connect the audio interface to your computer via USB. Obviously, you'll need a jack cable to connect your guitar to your audio interface input. And the key thing you'll need is an amp sim that contains effects running on your computer. I've already mentioned Amplitube and Guitar Rig because those are the ones that I am most familiar with. Now you're going to have to be able to hear the sound that your computer and amp sim are providing and you can either plug the output of your interface into a guitar amp or more preferably into standard powered speakers or a PA system. The types of cables you'll need for this will depend on the physical inputs that your speakers or PA system have. Essentially, we're going to connect the audio interface and computer running the amp sim in the place you would usually put your effects pedals or multi effects unit, i.e. between your guitar and your amp. Now, as I touched on earlier, you could either use a guitar amp or use standard powered speakers or a PA system. I would actually recommend using the second of those methods. Um, powered speakers or a PA system because of the levels that your audio interface is going to produce. Uh, the level coming out of the guitar is actually very, very low, whereas the level coming out of your audio interface will be much, much higher. So you do risk, you know, at best getting a, a terrible sound from your guitar amp uh, and at worst actually damaging it. So I would prefer to take the output from the audio interface into normal speakers you would uh, connect to your computer or audio interface at home, studio monitor speakers for example, or into a PA system. So this is Amplitude 5. This is uh, what you're presented with when you first run it up. If we go to this hamburger menu here, what we want to do is make sure we have ASIO selected there if you're on a PC. And then you need to select the input that your guitar is plugged into. So uh, here I'm plugged into input two on my audio interface. So I've selected input two there. For the output, we need to make sure that the output is selected that your speakers are connected to. So I've got mine connected to outputs one and two as a standard stereo output. So that's what I've configured in this output device section here. Once we've configured Amplitube, we can then go about setting up our rig, so which amp we want and which effects model. So I'll just stick with this amp model there. All you've got to do to change it is click on the actual amp and then on this menu on the right hand side, you can select whichever one of these you want and you'll see it change in your rig on the left, but we'll go back to that one. And then to select the effects, if you look at this little effects pedal icon there, scroll up to the top of here, you can see all the different categories of effects we've got here. So I don't know, let's, uh, let's go into distortion. Let's pick a, a, a tube screamer type pedal. And, and all you've got to do is drag it there to put it into the signal chain. Let's turn that off for now, get rid of the hiss. 
and then maybe I don't know should we add a little bit of the de delay so we got a, a digital delay pedal here let's put that we can actually put it there in the effects loop so that that's before the amp in the signal chain that's effectively in the effects loop and click on that you can hear the delay <laughs> And you could go on adding whatever you want. I don't know, should we do one more? Let's, what about a, a, a chorus pedal? Let's put that, I don't know, let's put it after the, uh, after the overdrive. So there we have, uh, very quickly, we've set up a rig. You can save uh, this as a preset by clicking that button there, which uh, will allow you to enter some parameters and, and metadata, and you can pick whatever name you want to save it as. Finally, one very important thing, if you are connecting to a real guitar amp, please turn the audio interface output level right down before you start playing anything and bring it up very, very slowly until you get a good sound because we don't want to risk you damaging your guitar amp. Okay, so that's how you turn your computer into a guitar effects processor. Check out the article on the Home Music Creator website for more details. I shall put a link in the description below. This is Paul from Home Music Creator signing off. See you in the next video. Cheers.